Okay, this video is about, um, oh man, I just read that too and I accidentally deleted it, but I'm going to read this one instead. Okay, this video is about the backstory to Bogus Flow by Beck. Uh, May, May 1993, Ann Arbor, Michigan. I remember this one is mine because I wrote a linear, a liner note saying Beck has to bust up laughing at any attempt to say the word California for some reason. This also occurs in Corvette Bummer at the end of the song while naming a list of foods and random stuff when he gets to what was supposed to be a California roll. He just busts up laughing and the recording ends. I don't remember exactly why the word California is funny, but as I write this, it sounds funnier every time. Again, I don't know why, but there's just something really funny about California. I think it's my memory of learning that they rebuilt San Francisco on the exact same spot where a major earthquake destroyed it as a child, and even now, I think that's ludicrous and want to laugh hysterically at California and find a way to lull others into doing it too, like putting someone busting up laughing while trying to say California in a song. I remember now that in that major historical quake that destroyed San Francisco, one of the things that happened was flooding from water displaced by the quake along with busted water pipes, and this is why I titled the song Bogus Flow. A cassette by Beck was later posted on YouTube that was completed in 1993 that doesn't contain any one song I wrote on it, but it is titled Bogus Flow, December 1993. I'm actually listening to it as I write this. I've never heard it or anything on it before. The song Bogus Flow is not on it. I guess he had received my mail at this point and just stuck the title on the cassette as an internal reference, maybe. Bogus Flow is also a direct reference to my memory of the historical California Gold Rush reenactment activity in Kankakee, carried out by the Royal Rangers where they threw bogus gold in the creek for us to pan out for lame prizes. Bogus Flow represents their collective stream of consciousness and unstructured recreational social time. It's the oblivious element of a gibbering and irresponsible internal monologue. We were actually being classed on how to permanently shut off at that camp outing, which was in fact intended and structured as an academic and not merely recreational event. Beck himself had been observed to exhibit a critical and when necessary violent self-preservation oriented outlook and it had never occurred to me to be a coward or criminal like the Brothers Chaps and they might be giants for selling racism. Beck's purity status remains unchecked, so far as I know, with a possible erroneous and unfounded indication of being vain for adhering to certain commercial styling formatting in mainstream media, which in reality exists as a temporary necessary evil, which in overview could also apply to the chaps and they might be giants in spite of contrary slanderous motions on my own part to neutralize my possibly erroneously perceived position on the matter which I'll still defend regardless meanwhile for entirely imaginary demonstrative political reasons already resolved. And that is the backstory to Bogus Flow by Beck. Um, thank you for listening.